welcome back uh, to perhaps the last session of spinoza's philosophy we have yes already covered point 1 introduction and the subdivisions under that point 2 philosophy of knowledge and the subdivisions along with it and then uh, division number 3 the philosophy of god uh, perhaps the most important section and then we moved on to the philosophy of world contingence and lack of finality just now explained and the metaphysical framework that is one substance and two attributes and then everything is emanating from it and then we moved on to the fifth point namely philosophy of man body mind intellect and will and all that is clear and then the big problem of body mind Pro, uh, problem in Descartes is easily solved by Spinoza with his psychophysical parallelism. So that is also we have seen and the body and mind, intellect and will. There is no distinction between intellect and will in Spinoza because yes, knowing itself is an affirmation or a denial. So that is how we finished and then the freedom is a deterministic freedom. that is what we have seen because mechanically and there is absolutely there is no final cause and all that you we have seen and we come to the last part of it namely philosophy of morality philosophy of of morality yes after having spoken about a deterministic type of persons with no finality no purpose in the world everything is an emanation we need also to say something about the philosophy of morality that is the last point to be said okay the point is students of philosophy again should tell me what type of morality can be can we find in his philosophy that's the thing spinoza's philos morality is spinoza's morality means philosophy the philosophy of morality found in the philosophical treatises of spinoza is indicative 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 it is based on his theory of determinism it is oh it is based on his theory of determinism as purpose and all we have seen it it is all based on his determinism theory of determinism and it simply states that it simply states that the theory of determinism which that which occurs evil and moral evil has no meaning evil and particularly moral evil has no meaning why you should be able to say there is no purpose there is no final cause there is no finality lack of contingency and lack of finality we have explained therefore it should become very easy very simple therefore evil and moral evil has no meaning yes co finality is a fabrication of man is man's creation he has already said that for at least then we need to at least to know it and then evil has no meaning everything flows necessarily from god ultimately everything flows ultimately from god necessarily 
Yes, necessarily, ultimately, yes, everything flows necessarily from God, ultimately, that's what you need to remember. Therefore, yes, what type of, then, indicative morality, what is it? Well, we'll come to that, yes. Man's highest good is, man's highest good is, man's highest good is, yes, yes. As human beings, what should be the highest aspiration of every human being? Man's highest good is intellectual love of God. Intellectual. Intellectual love of God. Intellectual love of God. Yes. This has a lot to deal with the way we are. In other words, yes, in Indian philosophy, you have different margas. You studied in your first year philosophy. What are they? Different margas, four margas. Huh? What are they? Huh? Karma marga. Uh, that is the point. This is why I said in the beginning that philosophy is thought, thinking about itself. I repeat again and again because it's something very important. Now, intellectual love of God. What is this intellectual love of God in him? Yes. The knowledge that you are in God, you are in nature and the nature is in, in you. The knowledge that you are in God, God is in you. That's what is called, yes, jnana marga. What is jnana? Yes, wisdom. Wisdom is highest knowledge and that highest knowledge is that you are in God and then the Upanishadic teachings you take, I don't want to pull in philosophy, Indian philosophy into Western philosophy, but then Upanishadic, that thou art, that thou art. Yes, tat diegam, that everything is one and all that is will come here, intellectual love of God, that is indicating morality. Clear. So man's highest good is the intellectual love of God. This is attained by and through philosophy. Not only simply you study philosophy to rise and complete your degree, but rather as you reach, you get the highest degree of knowledge. And that is, yes, it's in philosophy that you realize that you cannot attach yourself to the mundane realities but rather your purpose is the highest that you need to be with God. That is the highest realization. In man's ascent towards God, Spinoza distinguishes three stages corresponding to the three stages of knowledge. Yes, you have said already theory of knowledge, sense knowledge, rational knowledge, and intuitive knowledge. So, in corresponding, this section also please do remember. In, in uh, Spinoza distinguishes three stages, corresponding to the three stages of knowledge, sense knowledge, rational knowledge and intuitive knowledge which we have already seen. And now, correspondingly, there is also the morality coming. In his sense knowledge, man is in a state of passion, yes and passivity in relation to things. The moral condition corresponding to this stage is called slavery. When one is attaching oneself to the, yes, senses, he is in a slavery, a slave to the external world. Yes, you need to grow from there to the second stage. Through rational stage, in the rational knowledge, man is in a state of contemplation. The moral attitude here is stoicism, self-control. Yes, that is the second stage. A stage more you grow. Yes, it's also in correspondence with the theory of knowledge. A sense knowledge is not that much. Rational knowledge is much more. 
and intuitive is the highest form of knowledge we have said already in the theory of knowledge correspondingly there are three stages of morality first one is sense knowledge correspondingly the the you you become you become addicted to the world of things and that's a kind of passion towards but then the moment you reflect further you enter into the second stage a rational one man is in a state of contemplation the moral attitude here is stoicism means self control you begin slowly to detach yourself from this world and from the passion and slowly raise your mind to a higher level and that's something very important and then the st- third stage in intuition grasping the diversity of design diversity of beings in the unity of divine substance man is in a state of intellectual love of god you raise your mind finally you realize that you are part of the absolute the one reality so that's what is called yes intellectual love of god this is a moral state of perfection what does it mean intellectual love of god what does it mean in one sentence seeing everything as part of a logically connected infinite system is same as intellectual love of god so what does it mean seeing everything as part of a logically connected infinite system is same as the intellectual love of god in this state of moral perfection are identified love of man for god and god for man so in other words you we become aware that you are part of god and god is in you that is what is called intellectual love of god of course there is a politics of that is not that but then coming to a kind of critical appraisal of uh, spinoza spinoza's monism is a logical result of drawing some of descartes premises because descartes said there is one absolute substance and two relative substances well that has caused problem and problem of body and mind a metaphysical problem for that an epistemological solution was proposed by descartes and that was unacceptable for spinoza so that is what we said spinoza's monism is a logical result of drawing some of descartes premises to their extreme conclusions the exaggerated autonomy of substance and strict application of deduction pushed him to it that is okay however monism does not give a satisfactory account of reality remember that monism does not give a satisfactory account of the reality yes that's a point bear in mind then we will that with that we wind up and then we enter into yes live nis tomorrow but then we can if needed tomorrow we will start with live nis that's now thank you